Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We are back out on the Going Ballistic shooting range and we got something extra special for you guys today. We are breaking out the 40 Mike Mike. That's right, because we got some new toys for it. So what we're gonna do today is we got these Triumph targets. These are reactive targets. They got these little paint packs here. But what we're gonna do, thanks to you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys make all this happen. So we picked up a dirty dozen hornet's nest for the 40 millimeter. Now this one is rifled, has 12 rifled barrels. Now what we're gonna do is we got some red tracer 22 rounds for this one. We got an 18 shot, which you guys seen in this video here. It hit over a million views. Thank you guys for that. So this one is 18 shots unrifled. We got some 22 green tracers for this. We got our 410 Hornet's Nest here. We're gonna shoot that with those. And then we got our 12 gauge adapter here where we're gonna shoot a double lot buck. So we got the target set up down here already. We got the high speed camera set up. Just wanna say thank you again. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to sign up on our Instagram page. Check that out. We always had a lot of stuff going on there. All right, let's get ready, do this. It's been a little while since we got the uh, 40 mil out, so it's kind of exciting. <laughs> the sights really aren't made for this kind of distance, but we'll wing it. We got some three inch 410 shells in here. Well, four three inch 410. See what kind of spread we got since there's literally almost no barrel. It's just chamber. You can see the tips of the crimp there. Oh, got to stretch out for this one. No idea where to aim. Let's just call right there good. That hammered me, bro. Cool. All right, that was awesome. As always, good shot, Justin. You can see we got a complete <laughs> full spread out of this one. We got holes everywhere in this zombie target. That was pretty cool. Nothing penetrated, so we're not gonna pull the target off. We put it on this washer here so we can also see how things might uh, punch through the 22s. So the one we're gonna do next, we're gonna do the 12 gauge with the double lot buck, see how that does against this one. Here we go. So now we're doing double lot buck. Like as you see, this is the entire length of the barrel it's gonna have, it's about four inches. So that is not much. I don't know what kind of energy it's gonna have if it's even gonna penetrate the washer. Go for it. All right, let's put it right about there. Maybe. Yeah, recoil wasn't that bad, considering there's not much barrel length. Dang it. Did it make it through? I think she did. Let's see what we got here. This is cool. Um, I don't see any big new shots to the uh, paint packs. However, that still had enough penetration. Push through here. Let's see, where else do we got? We got here, took out both eye sockets, one in the mouth, one here. Uh, let's see 
Let's see how it did. Dang, that's impressive. I, I did not think with basically no barrel that it would have any uh, penetration power, but that blew right through this, no problem. Heck, I think it blew through the inside of this tumbler, it did. <laughs> it blew through the tumbler in here too. So that, my friend, has got some power. Oh, one hit up here too, Justin. Nothing through the back, but but that did pretty good. Especially for 35 feet. Yeah, especially for 35 feet and basically no barrel. Okay, we're gonna turn this, get a fresh uh, side on it. We're gonna do the 18 shot, non-rifled. Let's do it. All right, now we're doing the 18 shot, 22 Hornets Nest with the tracers. All right, we know it's a little bright out, but it gets a little cold at night. We'll have to do a short at night and show you the actual tracers streaking. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the, the rifled one would compare to the 18 shot unrifled, you know, in their flight pattern with the tracers. Maybe we'll see something in the daylight, who knows? Well, we're about to find out on the R&D channel. Ooh, this is the one that destroyed one of my full auto lowers just because of the recoil. It snapped the rails off, crushed my lower receiver and my shoulder. Ready? Oh God. All right. That wasn't bad at all. What were we using the first time? Yeah, I think I was using my super high velocity one, but these ones weren't bad. Hopefully they all went off. Just to show you the carnage from the 40 mil, the 18 round 22 uh, hornet's nest. This is what happened. It actually broke the rails off the handguard, smashed into my lower receiver, completely destroying it, pinching in the magazine. And I have no idea what 22s we were shooting that day, but they were nothing like what we shot today. So those were completely tame. So I gotta figure out what those were because I don't want to do that again. It was quite painful. So this is why I was complaining. Let's see what kind of damage we did here. You could see on the high speed, some of the uh, tracers going off, they were tumbling. Again, that's 18 rounds unrifled. So we got quite a bit right here. Not a bad grouping. It's one out over this way, one down here and here, here. Let's take this off and see what kind of penetration power those had. No penetration, but they still hit with a lot of force to dent um, this washer machine, so that's not bad at all. Pretty good, see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, there's another one around here somewhere. Don't worry about that big hole. Yeah, that big hole that that was um, that was this one where we shot some tracer rounds, 308 tracer rounds at night. So you guys could check out this little video here. Those paint packs look cool on the white. They do. <laughs> they look really cool, huh? Yeah, that's Splat. <laughs> okay, we are gonna get on to the one I know everybody's been waiting for especially us again thank you guys for helping us buy all these for this 40 mic mic here let's do it all right now it's time for the dirty dozen this is literally the first time we've gotten to play with this thing so we're sharing that experience with you because we care <laughs> now this should make a relatively tight group i would think shouldn't open up much more than the hornet's nest itself we're gonna find out I'm gonna get them right through the hot. Hey, look at that. They all go through his brain pan? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Damn it. Yeah, definitely took out his brain pan there. 
Um, this one looked like it, a few of them look like they stabilize, but there are some that key hold. This one key hold. This one looks like it did. This one obviously did. But still, that was cool. I don't know, are we the first YouTuber to do a comparison between all four? Don't know. Let's see what kind of damage it did. Yeah, these ones that stabilized, they, they punched right through. Now this one here, this was from an old video, so I crossed that one out. But they, they punched right through with no problem on the ones that stabilized. Full show. Okay, okay. Well, that was pretty cool. So we're going to do it again. We're going to try it one more time. Justin's going to shoot down around these paint packs here. See what happens. Let's do it. So we're going to go ahead and do that dirty dozen again, but this time with green tracers in my tactical shooting pose. That's what cool people do. Cool people never say crap like that. I'm going to try to get through the heart, but, uh, you know, no promises, really. Did, did I get it? Maybe. Well, that one didn't make, doesn't look like as tight of a group um a couple of them again key hold but like this one here stabilize this one key hold uh, let's see well we got a couple more holes i think i think these are new down over this way that one there these are some of the older ones yep fresh paint these out <laughs> These are pretty cool. Pretty neat, man. Oh, that one, a little burn action there. Okay. Little lead ring. Yeah, that little lead ring is awesome. All right. We still want to do another one. You know you want to see another one. But you're probably like, yeah, those tracers are really cool in the daytime, Chris. Yeah, whatever. So, here's what we got for you guys. The chalk challenge, okay? This is a chalk round, but this pusher right here is pretty heavy duty. So, right now, in the comments, will it go through the washer machine? Let's do it. I'm really curious about this chalk round. Yeah, these things, these things pack a punch. A lot more than you would think for a practice round. Like I'd, I'm sure it'll definitely go through a few layers of metal here. Then it should be really, really pretty with all the chalk and the wind we got. Well, that's if I can hit it though. Like I said, I have no real sights right now. Maybe right there. Oh, that man, that went low. But I think it punched through. Well, he's got a belly button now. And I'm not sure if it didn't punch through because how low it is. It's a little beefier metal down here. But here's the pushers. They fly usually this way. So that's what they look like. Good chunk of steel here or aluminum. That's where it hit. Let's check it out though tell you man his guts hurting bad that put a good dent in look at the size of the dent of the whole thing not bad not bad at all here's a couple more of the <laughs> these are so cool they're so cute well thank you guys for stopping by again if it wasn't for you we wouldn't be able to do these videos so we really appreciate it so we got three checks are you on instagram did you subscribe to the channel? And don't forget to buy the $10 t-shirts. Good t-shirts, we still have a bunch of them left. We put everything back into this channel. Thank you for, um, well, they're around here somewhere. Hunting for connections. 
Uh, they support us by uh, helping boost our channel. Uh, we really thank them. Check them out if you're an outdoor enthusiast, anything, and you're looking for your dream girl or man. That's the place to go. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back.